I made this cake the other day on the Suncoast View Channel 7 with the host Stephanie Roberts and the great Linda Carson. And it's my take on a Yule log cake that I think you'll really love. I'm Mar Marie Cristiani, the Aerialist Chef. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to bake two eight inch round cake recipes, which means two boxes of cake mix or two times your favorite recipe that makes two nine inch or two eight inch rounds. I've done eight inch and you'll want to go ahead and frost them. But remember, we're going to put a lot of frosting on the outside. So keep it very thin in between. All right. Also, I'm going to use a 1M open star tip. Um, you can find these at craft stores. I'll put the links below and anything you buy will help me out, that's fine. But you can find them at craft stores. And then I'm keeping the decorations very simple. So I'm using fresh rosemary and I'm gonna show you later how I do that and cranberries. But feel free to add meringue mushrooms or fondant mushrooms, whatever you wanna do. All right, so I base ice this cake. And what does that mean? I've just put a very thin layer of frosting for two reasons. One, to seal the crumbs so that you don't have chocolate cake crumbs coming out. And two, to give my frosting something to stick to when I start doing the decorations. I put the cake on a cake board, the cardboard cake board. And a lot of times I'll double the cake board. I'm not today because I'm just showing you, but uh, you can glue them together with Elmer's glue and that'll give you a little bit more stability because they're quite thin and cakes get quite heavy. So do yourself a favor and glue two together. I'm using my favorite turntable. If you don't have a turntable, you might have a spice, a Lazy Susan spice rack, or if you don't have that, use the cake pan that you bake the cakes in upside down to give you something to stand for it to stand on. You can turn it by your hands. All right, the first thing we wanna do is, this is our log, so we wanna make the top part, and I'm gonna show you quickly how I do that. And I wanna give it just enough frosting that will give me a decent uh, ring, cake rings. You'll want to keep your cake in the fridge when you're not working on it because it's buttercream and butter uh, cream is just like a stick of butter. At room temperature, it's very soft. I have made chocolate buttercream and chocolate cake. If you don't like chocolate, you can do vanilla cake and vanilla buttercream and then just use a brown gel color for the coloring of your uh, bark. I have about an 18 inch long piping bag and that helps a lot when you're putting this much frosting on it. If you have a little tiny bag, you'll be filling it a lot, which is fine. Don't ever fill your bag for more than two thirds. This is just a little bit over half and that way you can twist it Use your right hand, if you're right-handed, on the very top, and that's where the pressure comes from. The left hand is just for guiding. Don't sit here and squeeze with this hand because that's gonna shoot your frosting out this way, all right? Your tip should come about halfway up the bag is where you cut it. It can't be down here and it shouldn't be up here because when you apply pressure, sometimes if you cut it too far back, it'll shoot out and you'll lose the tip will come out. All right, the first thing on our, our log is the knots. And because I want it to look realistic, I want to put some high, some low, some in the middle. And the way I do that is I squeeze in the middle and I just make a circular motion like this. Don't be afraid to get close into the cake. You don't want the tip to drag into the icing, but you don't want to be out. If you watched our Suncoast view, Linda Carson had a little trouble because her frosting was soft and she kept trying to be too far back. And so her frosting kept falling down, that's why. So you'll want to be close enough that it sticks to the cake, but it doesn't drag through the frosting. And don't worry, you'll get used to it. If I didn't like that, I could take my offset spatula and I could just wipe it off and start all over again. So you can fix your mistakes, don't you worry about it. And once you get all the frosting on, nobody's gonna be able to see that. So you see I have some knots 
at different heights, just like a real tree would have, right? Once I have my knots on, then I'm gonna start piping from the bottom all the way to the top and just let it stick straight up like that. When you get to a knot, you're just gonna ease your way around it. See how easy that is? And you just have to play around with the pastry bag to get used to how it feels in your hand and you'll see that you'll get used to it very quickly. If for some reason frosting does fall off like Linda's did, you can turn that in to a, a root. And if I'm gonna put this uh, cake on a beautiful serving platter, I wanna make sure I cover that entire cake board. And I'm gonna show you later little ways that you can do that. And I'll just keep decorating this until the entire side of the cake is done. It's time to refill the bag, so I wanna show you a simple way of doing it that you notice that my bag is pretty clean. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna fold it down over my hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna fold it down over my left hand. And I'm gonna use my left hand to open it. And you see, I can see the line where I filled it to. All right, then I'm going to scoop the frosting into it. And the beauty of my left hand being in there is I can grab that spatula and pull it out. And I keep doing that until again, my bag is just over halfway. Don't get greedy, believe me, you'll regret it. All right, you see how easy that is? And then I pull this up and I make a twist and I'll squeeze just a little bit back into the bowl to remove any of the air pockets that are in there. And that's it, then you're good to go again. Okay, you see our tree, our Yule log cake is starting to look really good. Now let's do the finishing touches. I've made snow, which is just American buttercream, butter, confection, sugar, and I'm gonna add a little bit of snow on top. You can put it however you want, and then you're gonna use an offset spatula, and I'll put some down here. Now you'll wanna put this on whatever you're gonna decorate, the platter, whatever you want to do your final decoration, you get the idea. And then after when we dust it with the powdered sugar, it's gonna look great. All right, now let's move on to the cranberries and the rosemary, all right? You can use corn syrup or you can use pasteurized egg white. The cranberries, I literally just wet them with water and then I toss them in some table sugar because I don't want to cover them completely. I still want to see that beautiful crimson color, but this kind of gives it that real snow look to them. You see how that looks fabulous? We'll throw those to the side as we decorate. And then for the rosemary, I literally just brush them with a clean paintbrush that I have, a little bit of corn syrup or egg white, and I roll those in, just, this is just regular table sugar. You can get the larger rock sugar crystals, you know, the decorating section, that's fine. But I really wanted to show you how you can make simple decorations with what you've probably got in your pantry. All right, I'll continue doing that, and then I'll show you how I put everything together. Let's finish decorating our Yule Log cake. I have put the white buttercream and I'll use my offset and I'll just kind of smoosh it around to make it look a little bit more like snow. You don't have to do this part, I just, it's fun. All right, and then I will use my sugared rosemary and cranberries and you just place them however you want. 
I just think this is a really pretty way of decorating it. It smells really good, actually. Our cake is just about done. It needs some snow. So I'm using powdered sugar. Let it snow, let it snow. And you can do it how, however much you want or how little as you want. Do this at the last minute though, because if you put it in the fridge, it will absorb into the cake a little bit and you won't see it. I don't know what you think, but I think it looks fabulous. With a cup of hot cocoa, who could ask for more than that? I hope you enjoyed watching. Happy holidays.